the enchanted pages. I want to tell you a story. Once upon a time, in the quaint town of Everwood, there lived a young girl named Violet. Violet was a curious and imaginative girl who loved to lose herself in the world of books. Her favourite place in the entire town was the dusty old bookstore called Enchanted Pages, run by an eccentric old man named Mr Thistlewick. One day, as Violet was browsing the shelves of Enchanted Pages, Mr Thistlewick beckoned her to the counter. In his hands, he held a mysterious leather-bound book with gilded edges. This, my dear, is no ordinary book, he said, his eyes twinkling with excitement. It's a magical tome that allows you to step into the pages and experience the stories firsthand. Violet's eyes widened with wonder. She couldn't believe her luck. Mr Thistlewick explained that the book had been passed down through generations, waiting for the right person to come along. That person, it seemed, was Violet. With a sense of anticipation, Violet opened the book to its first page and found herself standing in a bustling medieval marketplace. The air was filled with the aroma of spices and merchants called out to her from their stalls. Violet realised that she was now a character in the story, living the adventure she had only read about before. As she explored the magical world within the pages, Violet encountered knights, fairies and talking animals. She sailed on pirate ships, flew on the backs of dragons and danced at grand balls in glittering gowns. Each time she turned a page, a new and exciting adventure awaited her. But with the thrill of adventure also came challenges. Violet faced mythical creatures, solved riddles and discovered the power of friendship and courage. Along the way, she grew wiser and more confident, learning valuable lessons from the characters she encountered. One day, while exploring a dense forest filled with enchanted creatures, Violet stumbled upon a wise old wizard. He told her that the magic of the book was a gift, but it was up to her to use it wisely. The true magic, he explained, was not in the book itself, but in the lessons she learned and the memories she created. With a newfound understanding, Violet continued her adventures, cherishing each moment and savouring the magic of the stories. Eventually, she returned to Everwood and the familiar shelves of Enchanted Pages. As she closed the magical book for the last time, she thanked Mr Thistlewick with a heart full of gratitude. Violet may have stepped out of the Enchanted Pages, but the magic lived on within her heart. The lessons she learned and the memories she made stayed with her, shaping her into a brave and imaginative young girl who would carry the enchantment of the magical book with her always. And so, in the quiet town of Everwood, the legend of Violet and the enchanted book became a cherished tale, whispered from one generation to the next.